CRISPR system is a way to defend against viruses. So I've got some viruses here. So here's a virus. It looks like a little mini moon lander, if you can imagine it. And it basically, it's actually like a little syringe. So it contains in its head some DNA, viral DNA. And then it's got a long syringe-like part and some feet or legs. And what it does is it lands on the, on the bacteria. And then it pushes like a needle, basically, through into the bacteria, punctures the bacteria, and injects DNA. Okay. And once that DNA is in there, if the cell can't do anything about it, it um, replicates the virus. So you get lots of copies, hundreds of copies of the virus. And in the end, the cell just becomes a kind of a, a big infected bag of virus and bursts. And all these viruses are released. So you can imagine hundreds of them going on to infect other cells. And that's where the CRISPR system comes in. So what it does is essentially there's a chance when a virus infects a cell that the, vi the cell can actually survive and capture a little piece of the viral DNA which is the genetic information that, that, that is going to code for more viruses. What it does with that DNA, it, it, it stores it in its own genome, and so it can pass it on to its progeny. And it's like an adaptive immune system. So uh, if, let's say, this cell has, has previously captured a bit of the, this virus DNA, uh, next time a virus like that comes along, it injects its DNA into the cell, and instead of the cell dying, the cell uses its memory of that infection previously and uses the CRISPR system, which is a set of proteins um, that will uh, recognize the, the virus DNA and chop it up. So, that, so that you can imagine that the apparatus is like molecular scissors, okay? So they're programmed to attack the DNA from that virus, and when that DNA is infecting the cell, they'll chop it up, stops the DNA working, stops the infection, and that gives it immunity. So, the, so that that's cell type is going to be resistant to those viruses. It's not going to be resistant to different viruses um, and they could still infect the cell. But again, the CRISPR system can then capture another piece of DNA from this virus and build up a whole library and use that to um, confer immunity against many different virus types. So we, I mean we're focused on um, protein um, structure and function and mechanism. So we really want to understand basically how the scissors work so we, we we know we know something about the shape of the scissors and we know how they're programmed we don't really understand how they function you know, what's the actual um, machinery for cutting for detecting and cutting the virus um, DNA sequence uh, it's not completely understood so there's something we really want to understand at a molecular level uh, and that's certainly the focus for the next couple of years of our research so this is a system that's only discovered in the last 10 years um, interestingly, it's, it's become really important in human uh, gene therapy in the last year. Um, in fact, there was a publication in the independent, front page of the Independent yesterday showing that you can use these scissors and you can program them with pieces of human DNA. So, for example, let's say cystic fibrosis gene. You could program the scissors against cystic fibrosis with a little bit of the DNA. It cuts the CF gene, the damaged one, in CF patients, and that allows you to fix it. And you can fix it with the correct copy of the gene.